Well, g'day. Just a quick little episode. I know previously uh, from the video uh, chronology you would have seen that I'd actually finished this particular residence called a hunter. But something's come up while I was doing a little bit of uh, building around the entirety of the outside of the little hobbit town here. If you haven't actually seen the uh, other videos that are actually in the series that I'm doing uh, on Hobbiton, uh, there's a residence that I'm currently building underneath me here. What I'll do, if you haven't seen that uh, video and know about that build, I'll put a link in the top right hand side of your screen for you. What we wanted to come and uh, have a quick look at today is a little addition to the Hunter's Residence. So in looking at the rest of the build for Hobbiton, you would have seen that I had envisaged at the very beginning of the build here that I wanted to put sort of a central marketplace down the bottom, uh, have a few little stalls and that sort of thing, and also have some stalls for each of the builders uh, as the primary focus. Now, what I did uh, in aid of that is I decided that I really wanted to actually have all of the builders had their own little stall in the marketplace and I didn't sort of really factor in uh, that idea until I actually had finished this build. I wasn't really sure on how the marketplace was going to be set up and um, that's why I've made the changes that I had. So you might have noticed here that we now have a door here. So what I've done is I've actually created a little bit of tunnel that comes down here to the downstairs area. Now this is a little section that is just a, uh, a little visual merchandising display for the marketplace. I've got a uh, fell monstrosity head there. Just put a couple of little window sills there just for something to do. I haven't actually really finished this yet. I just kind of threw this together just this morning and uh, I haven't really completed it. I actually came through uh, just underneath the little uh, veranda outside there when I was building this section because we're building within some really tight tolerances here. Uh, it's really because I sort of hadn't uh, envisaged that I was going to do what I've done for this build. So. That's all right. We made it without too much drama. So what I've done here is so that the hunter has their own uh, stall space downstairs. Uh, she is going to be able to come down here. She'll have her own little secret entry. And opens up into this. So I haven't really finalized all of this as yet. Um, I'm yet to decide whether I'm liking having a little bit of an interesting thing there over the uh, top of flame. Not really sure whether I want to have that in place at the moment or not. I just kind of threw it there just before for something to do. Um, you know, just having a look at weird stuff to do, you know. Um, at this stage, I think I might just leave it the way it is right there. So what I've done is, at this stage, haven't really done too much. Uh, Put a little bit of uh, flower soil there and a little bit of uh, potted plants there, soil, potted plant soil there. And basically what the hunter is going to be able to do here is sell her trophies in this stall here. So we we're talking just before about the little visual merchandising thing that she's got above there. So that's her little window, so when people are down here in the marketplace, they can see up there and see that the hunter's got a stall. And what she can do is, if she's not in the stall, she can just simply close the place up. That's the uh, mythology I've got behind it anyway. <laughs> so she can just simply uh, shut up shop, and she's got her own little visual merchandising section there. I may create another little one uh, just in that space there, another little VM window, but uh, I don't know. I think I might just leave it the way it is. I think it's fine the way it is. And uh, just next door here is the beginning of the build for the 
uh, next of our survivors, which is the Carpenter. That's a really, really exciting thing that I've been uh, doing some work on. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link for you on the top right-hand side of your screen. There's a great little series I've started on that as well. So I just wanted to give you this sort of uh, little update to the overall picture here. I think the entire build is going to look absolutely fantastic once it's done. It's going to be sort of little hobbit little hobbit holes all over the place on that uh, side of the mountain range there. Also underneath me here where I am and also over to the left of me there as well near that giant tree. I've got a plan to have another uh, little hobbit house in there as well. All right, well, that's it. Just a quick little catch up. I know uh, I said I was finished on the build for the hunter, but it was an addition and I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. All right, well, that's it for us this time. See you next time.